Oh, I'm embarrassed. This is awful game. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jonathan Buckren here at Denison Hall in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm playing Iron Man by Stern Pinball. I'm getting ready for a tournament we're having this Saturday at the Denison Hall. Uh, pinball tournament, that is. Just making sure I'm training and uh, getting all ready and set up. Pinball is really at the intersection of technology, art, music, sound, electronics. Uh, it meshes all of those art forms together. Uh, so whether you love repairing them or just enjoy them for the theme and love playing them, they're absolutely incredible. They're a lot of fun. There's a bit of an adrenaline rush to try and beat gravity. It's man versus machine, man versus gravity, man versus nature. So um, they're a lot of fun to play. It was long thought that pinballs are, uh, dead, are a dead item these days. That's not true. Uh, essentially, uh, there's two major manufacturers that are out there right now making pinballs, and uh, they release about three or four titles a year. Hi, my name's Derek Thompson. I'm the president of uh, the Die Hard uh, Pinball in Edmonton, and uh, just here playing some Walking Dead today. Uh, this pinball machine is called the Walking Dead. Essentially, it's... Uh, it's a game about killing zombies, and uh, what you're trying to do is, is you're trying to uh, achieve multi-balls by going ahead and hitting the prison, hitting the bash toys, as well shooting for uh, items such as the barn, uh, the CDC tunnel, and arenas. Uh, by going ahead and shooting each of these shots, uh, you accumulate scoring on the machine. Uh, the higher points you get, uh, uh, the better chance you have of getting a replay like you just heard there. But yeah, I got into pinball because my day job is basically solving people's legal problems. So when I'm playing pinball, I can't think about that. I just focus on the ball and it totally clears my mind. And there's different aspects to it. Like there's man against machine. Like I'm trying to beat my own score on the machine and beat the machine. But there's also, you know, man against man, compete against your friends. So it's kind of like an onion, there's a lot of layers to it. So I took a trip to New York City in October of 2014, and uh, at that trip to New York, everyone was playing pinball and uh, hanging out and drinking beer, and they had these barcades everywhere. There'd be like three pinball machines and craft beer and everyone was doing it all the hipsters uh, and, and so I went to a bar in Brooklyn on a Sunday and played for like six hours and uh, I had a lot of fun and when I got back here I got lucky in that Denison Hall had opened and uh, I've been coming here alarmingly often ever since <laughs>